KFNN. Headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Monday, 9 a.m. Eastern time, 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. Jumping over to my charts, we'll get them up. And we got markets starting off again in positive territory. We might get another record close today. S&P futures up one point right now at 31.45. Get the NASDAQ futures right now negative four points, trading 84.13. Dow futures up 16 points, trading at 28.089. Get a little action in oil to the upside, up $1.28 at $56.45. The gold contract pulling back a bit. Gold off about six dollars and eighty cents at fourteen sixty-five right now. Silver off about seven pennies. And the bond market, we got that bond market as it loads up. Ten-year yield sitting at one point eight four percent right now. We'll start things off as we get record territory every single day. It seems a little bit of elevation as we have new tariffs put in place by President Trump on steel and aluminum on Brazil and Argentina. We have China. With a little bit of a retaliation on the U.S. in terms of no more Navy ships in Hong Kong, but that might not impede a phase one trade deal. Nonetheless, the VIX starting off trading $13.15. Start things off to jump over to the indices. We'll start things off with the Dow. As you can see, we were up there at almost 28,200 at one point early, early in the morning. We've backed things off a bit as that news of the tariffs getting put in place right at about 5.30 this morning currently trading 28,097 in the Dow. NASDAQ 100 currently trading at 84.16. We were actually up there above 84.50 early in the morning. Jumping over to the S&P 500, currently trading at 31.45. Almost made it up to 31.60 at one point early in the market as I'm jumping around to different things. Crude oil this morning, $56.26, the high on crude early at about 4.45 a.m. of $56.66. There's your gold contract, $14.65, excuse me, $1,465 in the price of gold. And the euro U.S. dollar, as we have a little bit of dollar weakness, euro strength, the euro trend at 110.39. In terms of what else you have happening across the market, it was Black Friday, today, Cyber Monday. All the rage in terms of how much money will be spent, this article from Friday, but highlighting already they had $5.4 billion being spent on Friday. I believe the to total tally was around $7.3 billion, of which more than $3 billion spent online. Stay tuned, folks. Larry, we got Basil Chapman filling in for Larry live at 9 a.m. I'll be back at 10 o'clock. Have a great Monday.